Red Alive on YouTube. Pull into the Allstate Arena, guys, for War Games. You see the blue and white design on the building. Freaking awesome. We're gonna go to the to the back of the line right yeah, 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 now. We're gonna yeah, go to the yeah, back yeah. of the line. Uh, you can see the television truck right there so they can transmit it around the world. Pretty cool. Uh, there's the building where everybody's walking in. Once again, we gotta go to the back of the line. So we're gonna do that right now. Is that the... That's the pre-show. Oh, that's the pre-show panel. It's outside. Damn, it's cold. They're gonna be outside doing that. <laughs> Yo. Oh, dude, I gotta get a photo by this Allstate Arena. That looks so wicked, too. Oh, that's wicked. Damn, dude. It looks so much cooler than yesterday. Hey, they got George that set up. Oh, they got George this. Cardio. Yeah, this line. I ain't gonna waste my time in this line. Oh, Nobody's dude. taking our seats. We got them freaking... We got them taken. Let's go. There's oh. Allstate Arena. We're here in Culver's again. Same seat, same Culver's, same food for me, different food for Nick. He got the burger this time. I got the burger. basically already gone, but like he got the burger this time. I got the burger. So we're twinning now. He's got the Mania shirt on, and then I got the Punk shirt on. So we're going to be running up Survivor Series War Games right now. I'm so freaking hyped. Let's do this. Uh, let's head to the arena, get to our seats. We might even get some more merch. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah, well, why don't we check out the summer dress? We're going to have to sneak back there because there was a worker yesterday that told us we couldn't go back there. So we're going to have to sneak back there. Guys, right, so here's the uh, the pay-per-view panel. This we're is the pre-show uh, pre panel, if you will. Pretty cool. Check it out. Yeah, we literally saw all this already. This, we saw all this in Cali. Oh, yeah. We're this is the same setup. This is the same setup and everything. We should try to come back because it's cold out. So not many people want to stand outside. Yeah. So we could easily get on TV over here. Oh, uh, very freaking cool. Check it out. Freaking go. The merch stand outside, guys. No, I'm not going to buy anything. I'm not going to buy anything else, Mom. I'm not buying anything else. Trust me. Holy crap. Look at that Cody Rhodes War Games oh belt. God. Oh. <laughs> that is sick. 500? You got to be kidding me. Bro, that's crazy. Dude, that's really cool, though. Well, we hit up the merch stand again, and I picked up a hat that I was very disappointed that I passed on. The American Nightmare camo hat yesterday in that uh, Superstar toy hunt. And Dick got... I got the new, I, you know, every Ooh, single time, the new John Cena shirt and hat comes out. I always have to buy it. Heck yeah. So I got the new hat, and I got the new shirt. I'm not wearing it because I want to flex that we went to WrestleMania. <laughs> He's got the Mania shirt. I oh, yeah. got the Punk shirt. Uh, I did get one other shirt also at the end of the video, so stay tuned. And for the Mania 40 truck, that's all I need. Is the Mania 40 truck. We're not supposed to be back here. There it is. Did you see it? See, see, oh my god, Mania 40. Here it is. It should be on this side. It should be right over no, here. It's, with Logan Paul. it's right here. It's right here. This is it? There it is. Mania 40. Yes. Yo, yo, this says Logan Paul. Yes. Oh, this one's got bad. dude. Yeah, but this one's got the Mania logo. I need a photo by this. <laughs> dude, let's go. There it is. Oh no way. There's so many. We are here, guys. We made it to War Games. Two rings, one cage, two teams. It's gonna be insane. You see the metal bar in the center there to connect them. And we got the cage up top. No disco ball anymore, because Pretty Deadly's not coming out. Um, we got the announced desk over there. The stage with the two shark cages. It's gonna be freaking wicked. I love the stage. I think it's like super low profile. And to fit more seats, I think that is just so awesome. Just love it, dude. There's the stage again, same arena, obviously, with the wood ceiling, which is amazing. Uh, very excited. It's going to be epic. Early at our seats. Got the yeah. Cody hat. You guys could see him a little better because it's not dark. Uh, he's got the Cena hat. It's going to be freaking lit. Very excited. I don't know what they're going to open with. Could they, they could open with a War Games match. They really could. Honestly, probably the women's one. It could be. And I'm, sure. I'm just as excited for that one as I am for the men. So, like, I'd be so excited. Yeah. This hat is freaking sick. Holy oh, yeah, cow. Dude, I love the camera. <laughs> oh, my gosh. But, uh, anyways, guys, we're jumping into War Games. I'm freaking hyped. Let's do yeah, freaking go. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's me. Acknowledge me. Ready? Yeah. You can't can see me. Oh, yeah. Again. Yeah, yeah, let's go! Yeah! War games!
Oh, oh! It's a big plan! EO Sky, EO, EO, EO! And it's a supply drop. Bring it up! Bring it up! Yeah! This guy's got a garbage can. Top of the freaking cage. This is not good.
Randy's not out here. Is kicking butt right now. No Randy Orton yet. What is going on, guys? What is going on? I would assume Randy's gonna come out at the fifth member, but nothing yet. I don't know. Judgment Day's got complete control. What the? That's a metal play. Oh! That's a take out Dom, Seth, Sammy, and Jay, and Cody. It's about to be a four on one. About to die, guys.
Over here, my boys right here. What's the channel? What's the channel? Heck yeah, guys. Check them out on YouTube. Let's freaking go, baby. How was War Games? Dude, hell yeah, man. Let's go. Thanks for being in the video, y'all. We're here with Tanush. Let's go. Brother Dink Brian. Dude, this was freaking insane. Survivor Series and all. Freaking outrageous, man. Punk return. Randy Orton, dude. Absolutely intense. Currently, they're cleaning up. They're cleaning up the uh, mess down there. I happened to get a War Games chair, which is insane. Uh, I paid $50 for it from some random kid. My <laughs> first show. Fun fact. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed the video. But alive, Tanush and Brian, out. Peace. This dude's packing up the turnbuckles right here. We got the apron, the steel stairs up close. This looks awesome. There are the rings, steel cage above. Freaking go. And they got this dude kicking people out. Get the announce desk. I need to go find the announce desk. All right, let's do it. Here's the announce desk, y'all. That's a break. Interesting. I literally just touched the announce desk. Cool. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Uh, we're dipping. It's a wrap to War Games. I am filming this video the next day. So the people that were asking about my voice, it is fine. I had no issues with it. It might sound a little different on camera. But, dude, anyways, War Games was so freaking insane. I filmed the full review setup video on my channel. So if you guys want to see my entire thoughts on every single match and every moment, I filmed that already on the channel. But the highlight, obviously, CM Punk returning. Oh, my God. What? That's just insanity. I was, I'm finally able to compose myself now. And just to know that Punk is back in WWE and really thinking about that is just insane. A place he said he would never come back to. He is back. Of course, he was literally just in AEW being fired from AEW by Tony Connor being released uh, uh, just from his contract. And here he is in WWE. It's just mind boggling to me. Uh, he returns here at Survivor Series, and what is he going to do? Oh my god, what is he going to do? He has to fight Seth Rollins at WrestleMania, right? For the World Heavyweight Championship? Uh, the possibilities with just Punk being in WWE, having a contract with WWE, the merchandise, the the figures, the figures. Dude, we're going to be getting Punk Elites. Do flashback Punk Elites. I want an Elite 16 remake. I want, an, uh, I want a, a Money in the Bank 2011 CM Punk Ultimate Edition. I think that could be so awesome. Dude, like, oh, the possibilities are just insane. I rewatched the Punk Return back on television as well. The pop is insane. Oh my goodness, it is. It's just outrageous. Uh, Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. That one fan in the front row, so funny. Oh my goodness. Uh, Seth Rollins was obviously heated. Um, that Punk is back. Obviously, they have beef, so that's why I'm thinking that it's gonna be him versus Seth at wrestlemania uh wow that is just insanity i can't believe punk is back i still can't it's crazy randy orton looked amazing oh, he looks better than ever dude like i couldn't even tell that he had this crazy back injury like i couldn't even tell like career threatening back injury and here he is kicking butt hitting one of the most wicked rkos i've ever seen <laughs> like a 10 foot rko off of a cage what like the timing is just insane for that to work like you literally have to time jd mcdonough coming down at the exact moment in order for that to work and randy orton nailed it my goodness that was just insanity i loved that war games match the men's and the women's war games matches I thought they were both evenly as good. The women's might, I don't know, really thinking about it and were you watching them back and rewatching moments and spots. The women's one was pretty freaking good. I don't know. That one might have been better than the men's, but I thought they were both pretty good. Equally, I thought they were both really, really well put together. Uh, Randy Orton, CM Punk, amazing. Yes, I did pick up a little more merchandise. I'd get, I did get this Cody Rhodes hat that I thought was just freaking sick. It says American Nightmare right there that says claim your kingdom on the side. It's the camo war game style one, and I just want to get it. I thought it was pretty cool. And I got this. Let me talk to you. Chicago, dude. This isn't just a regular let me talk to you. LA Night shirt. Let me talk to you, Chicago, which I thought was so cool. 
Uh, if it didn't say Chicago, I would not have bought it, but it did. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy the snot out of that. As you guys can see, I got the punk flag right here. How apropos for the end of the vlog. I want to thank you guys so much for tuning into the vlog. If you guys saw me up there, shout out to each and every single freaking one of you. Wow. You guys made my night. Uh, and like, wow, it was just a heck of a time, bro. For real. Meeting the fans to watching the matches to seeing Randy Orton to seeing one of my favorite wrestlers of all time, CM Punk return. It was just a, a million out of 10 night. Absolutely insane, intense craziness. Uh, and wow. Yeah. 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 Dude, so awesome. I didn't even lose my voice, bro. And you guys saw how much I was yelling in that CM Punk video. Yeah. And by the way, I was totally out of my mind when CM Punk's music hit. Like literally. Like I, I always knew there was a possibility, but I didn't. I, I didn't think it was possible. Um, but I always knew that I, I never, I didn't, I never said never, I never said never, but I just, I, there was always a possibility and it happened and he's here, man. CM Punk is home. I think this will be his final resting place as a pro wrestler. In my opinion, I don't, he, I don't, he'll never go back to AW. There's no way. Uh, so I think this will be his final spot. WWE, that'll be his final company that he's with. That's just my prediction. You never know. But that has been the War Games vlog. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching this video. I want to thank everybody that said what's up to me at War Games for saying what's up. It was such a blast. Oh my goodness. And I will see each and every one of you guys later. This is Brutal Live signing.